Japan Journal, the Internet's number one English-language online cybercast from Japan. Good day, everyone, and welcome yet again to this edition of Japan Journal, the Internet's number one English-language online cybercast from Japan. I'm your host, Mal Adams. And today I have a special guest, someone who I've been acquainted with for over 25 years, a long-time friend. Met him here in Japan, uh, Mr. Stanley Kahl. He was born May 5, 1941 in Toledo, Ohio. He's an American jazz pianist and founder of the Strata East Records label. He played with Roland Kirk while studying at the Oberlin Conservatory of Music and later with Marion Brown, Max Roach, Bobby Hutcherson, Clifford Jordan, Harold Land, Sonny Rollins and Stan Getz, among others. Kyle played with trumpeter Charles Moore and others in the Detroit Artist Workshop Jazz Ensemble in 1965 and 1966. And during the late 80s, Kyle was part of a regular quartet led by J.J. Johnson. He teaches uh, in the music department of the Mason Gross School of the Arts at Rutgers, the State University of New Jersey. I'm pleased and proud to have as my guest today, Mr. Stanley Kyle, the inimitable Mr. Stanley Kyle, my brother. Welcome to the program, my friend. Hey, All right. Hey. <laughs> it's late. And I'm sorry I couldn't make the show, man. I had a problem, as I indicated, but I'm, uh, I'm happy we're able to do this. Uh, I've got you on Skype. I'm, I'm going to zoom up now on your frame so the folks can see who I'm talking to. And... Say welcome back to Japan, man. Well, thank you kindly. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I wish it were longer, but it was just a one-shot deal, one-night concert, solo piano. Solo piano, and at the um, the new Billboard. Billboard. Yeah. B Billboard, yeah, that's an awesome place. I've been there a couple of times. Very nice, yes. C kind of rivaling the Blue Note with the world-class jazz artist uh, invited in, right? And uh, I just, uh, yeah, uh, George Duke was just in there not long ago with, um, um, what's the, uh, oh, my man's name? The singer. Yeah, Al, Jarreau. Al Jarreau, exactly. They did a, oh, yeah. did a thing. So, uh, how'd it go tonight? Oh, it went wonderful. I uh, enjoyed it. They had a wonderful instrument and uh, the stage and the lighting and the amplification, all that was just perfect. Yamaha or Steinway? Uh, no, no, I'm a Steinway artist. Uh, oh. I do play some Yamahas and they're good pianos. But uh, I'm uh, uh, had the honor of being a Steinway artist okay. for the last several years. Finally, yeah. in my career. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. I'm very happy with him. Yeah. And this 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 piano is wonderful. Okay. Speaking of your career, man, it's been a long time. We've been acquainted, like I say, maybe closer to 30 years. I'm not sure. You just told me that your daughter is 22 right now, huh? That's right. And That's right. So she was a baby when you came to my house. I visited your home outside of D.C., and she was an infant uh -huh. then, and had the pleasure of meeting your wife, who is also your business manager, attorney, and partner, huh? Yeah, she is a retired attorney, attorney and... That expertise is very helpful for a musician. I we, we never, we never seem to know how much we're worth right. and how <laughs> we should be treated. And she has no qualms about, uh, you know, seeking, true, seeking your true, true value. value. <laughs> yes, exactly. uh, so, uh, what proportion of your activity is uh, dedicated to live performance as opposed to education, the academia, right now? school year, I'm, I'm very much a teacher. Uh, there are performances at school, there are performances uh, around the area uh, with my, my wife's uh, presentation. She's a chair of the board of the, uh, the, the uh, one in Performing Arts uh, Center in Dover, Delaware. So, okay. Uh, you know, and things around the school and some things I kick in uh, to help her out. Um, no, but I was, I'm really speaking of performance. Doing, I don't do that much. Okay, I'm speaking of performances like tonight. This is rare for you then, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm, you know, it's like, you remember the Winston cigarette ad? I'm, I'm playing Lady Sunshine and Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. Uh, I'm not the most accomplished musician, but I'm, 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 I'm,
between. So when I, when I do go out, everything is correct like it should be. Sure, uh, sure, uh, sure. Okay. Uh, I'm there are festivals and concerts. Okay. Uh, All right. person that I uh, gave that video to and yeah. it's interesting that after you Michelle Patriciani uh, bribed me uh, <laughs> for, for the video uh, okay. is, is he still living no no Michelle passed away okay. he, he had a condition and uh, a very creative player oh incredible yeah, yeah Michelle Patriciani uh, traded a, a sign an autographed book of Miles's autobiography, which Miles signed, he gave that to me in exchange for the video. <laughs> so that was, that was a fair exchange. And then, uh, of course, my good friend and brother Buddy Williams from Brooklyn, the the, the jazz drummer's drummer, you know, uh, of course, uh, I shared that with him. And uh, Roy Haynes got a copy of that video. <laughs> Yeah, other than that, I've been sharing it by little pieces and uh, bits and pieces on YouTube, which, uh, you know, I just don't know what to do with it. I think I've donated to, if you have an idea where I can, some archive institution or something for music, let me know and I'm going to contribute that. But, uh... Um, the Rutgers Institute of Jazz in Newark, the Newark campus, they, they, uh, might want to be interested. Okay. I've also thought about what Herbie's involved with, the, uh, Thelonious Monk, uh, the institute. institute down there might uh, want this piece. But uh, let's talk about you, man. Uh, so, Toledo, Ohio, Art Tatum. I'm looking at a video of him on YouTube the other day, and boom, there you pop up. This was two days ago. Do you remember appearing in that video? You were saying something about, tell me about your relationship with Art Tatum and go, him and Toledo, and the role your mother played in your music career. Uh, because you said something on the video about your mother complain that that man just plays too much music. <laughs> and stuff. 
Mm. But I've had so many opportunities and challenges to play uh, our Tatum repertoire over the years. Uh, people have gotten grants to pay me to create things in his honor, mm. including the piano concerto. So uh, all that stuff is how part of my you know persona now, part sure. of my musical sure. persona. How, how do you how do you approach an explanation? or an understanding of that man as an artist, man, as a genius. I mean, what's your well, spin on that? I just say he's at the apex of piano playing. You know, he's uh, not the epitome, but the apex wow. of piano, uh, jazz piano style, and any piano, because one of the greatest classical players uh, said that he was the greatest. Wow. So. And how did he come? Is that just a gift? Is that a gift from God, man, or what? I mean, did he study? Was he a virtuoso? Did he diligently? Well, he had the opportunity to study. He's a very good teacher. And, of course, the teacher said that at about 14 years old, he, he taught him everything he knew. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so, but some of it certainly would be hereditary uh, somewhere. You know, Ooh, in his karma, yeah. he, he had that he had that potential to to be a, a great uh, artist. And now you differentiated your style being more lyrical than his. Are you suggesting that <laughs> JP JP Johnson and Fats Waller and but those guys that stride that thing, was, man? Huh? Yeah, he crystallized all those guys okay. from Shelly Roll right on up through Fats. Uh, he, he crystallized all those early styles. That was before my time. Yeah. And the players that I liked were the lyrical players like Tommy Flanagan, like uh, uh, Hank Jones. Oscar? And, and then, of course, no, not Oscar. Not Oscar. Bill Evans. Bill Evans. And then later, uh, the Tatum thing kicked in again. Mm -hmm. For real, in my life. So... Uh, my my lyricism I think still persists, but uh, I can approach the the virtuosity mm. uh, that Tatum employed. Awesome. Uh, okay. But I say approach. Yeah, right. That's, that's, a, that's a long that's approach, man. But not, no, probably not in this lifetime. Unbelievable. And then, you know the thing is, it's like Lester Young said, you gotta the, you can't join the throng to you play your own song. Yeah. So that's the ideal, and that's the, the, the goal of all jazz musicians, to find their own voice. Yes, well, you, you certainly uh, uh, have recorded a lot. I'm looking at your discography right now on another page. and Japan Journal, the Internet's number one English-language online cybercast from Japan.